The best part about my studies was I found the placement that I did at um, the Lyle McEwen Hospital. It was a 10 week clinical placement and I really got a lot out of it, benefited a lot. Well, I love going to uni, like I miss it now that I've finished, but having the support from all the tutors is amazing and also all the placement opportunities that you get. Meeting all these awesome friends, I reckon. Friends for life, yes. <laughs> really, the whole course was fantastic. Uh, great teachers and lecturers, which is fantastic, and uh, I learned a lot from them, so I'm really happy with how it all went. Definitely growing as a person. Um, PhD is really challenging, and I feel that I've come out the other end a much uh, more confident and competent person, ready to take on the world. Learning about how to work with a diverse range of people and how to provide effective therapy to all sorts of people. I'm very privileged to be able to be graduated and be a part of this amazing profession. Probably the law part, um, I found it quite interesting doing moots and um, practical. I think interacting particularly with the international students we had in the classes, listening to their versions of what they see in a different culture. That was really, really interesting. Exchanging ideas, debating as well. An international placement in, at the EBS University in Wiesbaden, Germany. Um, certainly something that was a bit out of, out of the ordinary and something that was really worthwhile. I'm a mature age student and I never ever thought I'd get a degree and I'm here, I can't believe it. I think just the way it trains your mind, the ability to focus over such a long period of time. I was just like the fact that we were advancing our schools because I was an EN beforehand and also meeting some awesome new people. Yeah, same with Terry here. <laughs> <laughs> I learned lots of skills because I used to be an enrolled nurse, so it's like I'm learning a lot in uni and I met a lot of awesome friends. All my family coming today, my teenage children, and we're going to have a lovely lunch later on. Probably have a glass of wine at some stage. Going home and eating a lot of food, I reckon, after today, yes. I'm going to go home and sleep. <laughs> the family's gone crazy, so I've got to uh, have, a, have a big meal, eat a lot of food and, and enjoy the night. Just beverages. A lot of beverages. <laughs> yeah. For my career future, I do plan to be a clinical dietitian. Owning my own pharmacy or something along those lines. To do some work uh, where I can really make a difference in the community. I plan to be working in the field of occupational therapy, so I've recently got a job working with children. I want to continue studying because I want to fly with the Royal Flying Doctor, so that means I have to go on and do my midwifery as well as my critical care, which I'm really looking forward to. Moved to Port Lincoln and yeah, working in the field of journalism, so doing what I want to do. I'm actually going to take a year off and I just bought a caravan so my boyfriend and I are going to travel around Australia for a year. I am doing some work experience at Channel 9 so I'm hoping that will open a few doors um, and I do want to also get into um, music and teaching kids music as well. I'm starting a PhD now so I'm on the, on the road for the next graduation. Thank you! <laughs>